welcome to the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pearl Baba Utu. Although government has extended water to a number of urban communities in recent times, a huge deficit of 67.2 million gallons per day remains, which will test the country's vision of achieving 100% water coverage by 2025. According to the sector ministry, the national demand for urban water stands at 287.2 million gallons per day against the production of 220 million gallons a day, leaving a deficit of 67.2 million gallons per day. The Institute for Fiscal Studies, an economic policy think tank, has described as inaccurate recent announcement by Finance Minister Seth Tepe that debt to GDP ratio had declined from 72% by end of 2015 to 63% by end of May 2016. The Institute for Fiscal Studies, in its review of supplementary budget, thinks otherwise. After a lot of disappointment in its free trade promotion efforts, the economic community of West African states ECOWAS is hoping to rely on the reputation of some seven eminent persons to whip members into line and break down the barriers that stand in the way of intra-regional trade. Headed by former Nigerian President Semjibo Salau and supported by USAID, a newly formed tax force on the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme is expected to take up the concerns of businesses with member countries that are found to be working against the efforts to abolish custom duties and non-tariff barriers in the sub-region. For more stories, you can visit the BFTonline.com or you can grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper. Enjoy the rest of your day.